Workout of the day for Thursday the 2nd of April. Today's workout of the day is a series of five mini AMRAPs. So it's two minutes to complete as many rounds as possible of 12 lunges, nine sit-ups, and six push-ups. You'll do that as many times as you can in two minutes. At the end of the two minutes, you'll have a one minute rest that you can write down how many reps, uh, rounds and reps you got. At the end of the one minute rest, you always start the AMRAP from the start, so from the 12 lunges. That is our no equipment version of the workout. Our limited equipment version of the workout is still five cycles of two minute AMRAPs with a one minute rest in between each of the AMRAPs. We're gonna go 12 overhead lunges, nine medicine ball or odd object sit-ups, and finishing with six push-ups. Again, you do two minutes, as many rounds and reps as possible, one minute rest, and we always start the AMRAP from the lunges. Every time we start, the new cycle. That is the limited equipment version. Today's full equipment version of the workout, it is five cycles of two minute AMRAPs separated by a one minute rest, 12 overhead squats, 40 kilos for the guys, 30 kilos for the ladies. Then moving on to nine medicine ball or odd object sit-ups, 20 pounds and 14 pounds, and then finishing with six strict ring dips. Same as the first two versions, Every time you start your next cycle again, you must start from the start, which in this case is the overhead squats. That's our full equipment version of today's workout of the day. Let's have a look at all of the movements and all of the scaling options. Today's movements. The first movement today is the lunge, the overhead lunge, or the overhead squat, depending on what version you were doing or what equipment you have available. First movement is a body weight lunge. With a body weight lunge, we step forward, our rear knee drops to the floor, gently touches into the floor, we stand back up to full extension and feet together before alternating sides. This is controlled at the bottom, you don't wanna slam your knee into the floor, and we drive up through that front leg to return to our original position, standing nice and tall. That is the no equipment version or the scaling option for today's first movement. The next option is an overhead odd object lunge. So, a couple of things I have at my disposal today. I have a wall ball, I have a dumbbell, I have a kettlebell, and I have a sandbag. So, whatever you have available is what you're going to use. For purpose of today, I'm just gonna use the wall ball. So, for the overhead lunge, we're gonna hold the ball or whatever the weight is over our head, we're aiming to press up into it and keep those arms at full extension. From there, rear knee touches the floor, stand back up to full extension before alternating sides. That is our odd object overhead lunge. The full equipment version for today is an overhead squat. So with an overhead squat, the first thing we need to do is get it overhead. This weight should be something that you're easily going to be able to do 12 reps in a row. Probably something you can do 20 reps in a row for. All right, so we should be able to snatch the bar up overhead. If you're needing to clean it, put it over into your back rack and get your hands set up, then the weight is too heavy for you. So something you can easily snatch up and do 20 reps in a row. All right, so with the overhead squat, we've got a really wide grip on the bar. We snatch it up. Set our position, feet shoulder width apart. Keeping that constant upwards pressure and active shoulders, we squat down, hip crease below the knee, stand up nice and tall. Notice as I squat, I keep that bar centered back over my heels and always pressing up with those active shoulders. That is the first movement for today's workout of the day. Movement number two of today's workout is the sit up odd object sit up or medicine ball sit up. So again, whatever you have at your disposal, if you're gonna do something with equipment. All right, so for our sit up. For our sit up, we're gonna lay down on the ground. Our feet are gonna be flat on the floor and our knees bent at about 90 degrees and our knees are gonna be together or no wider than hip width apart. From there, we're gonna to touch the ground above our shoulders. We're gonna to come 
over the top, touch our chest down into our thighs at the same time we touch our toes. So again, we must touch the ground above our shoulders. We then must come over, chest must get right into those thighs at the same time as we touch our toes. That's our no equipment version of the sit-ups today. For an odd object sit-up, if it's something that is really heavy, you might not be able to put it over your head. So if it's something really heavy, so say if you've got a sandbag or if you've got a dump, you're gonna hold it on your head here, you're gonna do your sit-ups that way. So don't put a hard object that if it fell on your head is gonna cause any damage, don't put it over your head, just keep it on the chest. If you have a medicine ball or a light sandbag, we're gonna to touch the ball above our head. We're gonna to touch the ball into the shoes at the same time as our chest touches our thighs. So again, touch it above our head, touch it into our shoes at the same time as our chest touches our thighs. That is our medicine ball sit up or odd object sit up or regular sit up depending on what version you're doing. The third movement in today's workout of the day is the push up or the ring dip. Let's have a look at the push up and how we're gonna scale this movement today. And then we'll move on to the ring dip which is our full equipment version. If you're unable to do ring dips, then you're gonna do the push up as the scaling option today. All right, so for the push up. For a push up, you must maintain that hollowed position in your body. We must lower down and the chest touches the floor. Press all the way back out to full extension. Notice at the bottom of the movement, only my chest touches the floor, not my thighs or my knees. So there should be no movement through the hips and we maintain that hollowed position throughout the movement and you must touch your chest into the floor. If you are unable to touch your chest into the floor or maintain that good position without the thighs and the knees touching the floor, then we're gonna push up to a height. I've got a really low height today, so that's if you could kind of get a couple of push-ups out. The higher you raise your height, the easier the movement is going to be. I need the movement to be something that you believe you could do 10 really good reps in a row. So from a height, we place our hands on the height, same position, chest touches into our height, and then we push up, always keeping that good position. If you have full equipment today, we're going to do the ring dip. With the ring dip, we start with our rings in nice and close, chest up nice and tall. We lower all the way down so the biceps touch the top of the rings, press all the way back out to full extension at the top. They are our three movements for today's workout of the day. If you have any questions at all with regards to the movements or how you should scale them, please email me at kobe at crossfitabode.com.